dear students a warm welcome for all and welcome to this epg pathshala this is meena meena gurumurthy from chennai i am working as an assistant professor head department of interior design and decor affiliated affiliated to the madras university so here we are going to deal a important topic which all are doing knowingly or unknowingly in our day to day life can you guess anything else in this regard actually each and every person demand is more as goals are fixed to that demand let us see a topic related to goals in demands so these demands how it frames so this demand comes from the birth even the birth, born baby will demand for the milk it cries it communicates something to the elders to give something else so demand comes from the birth and ends till the life long so always set one goal to achieve the demand so goal should be there to achieve the demand is more important one in our life now let us see the definitions of goal gross and crandall stated that goal setting involves the identification of aims or purposes goals or ends in view a phrase which suggests the goal must be reasonably realistic and attainable associated with the settings of goals is an intention to do something toward the achievement of them that is a commitment to the realization of the goals the presence of intention distinguishes goals from daydreams this is not to say that some daydreams might not become goals and according to mullik goal is an end towards the accomplishment of which an individual or a family is willing to work goal setting is a continuous process as soon as goal is achieved other goal is pursued so goals grow out of desires attitudes and values they are preset achievable targets which are to be reduced definition of goal setting the definition of goal setting is a process of identifying something that you want to accomplish and establishing measurable goals and time frames when you decide on a financial change to save more money and then set a certain amount to save each month this is an example of a goal setting origin and development of goals goals originated from desires human values changing environment thoughts and attitude to make life successful and to develop good personality goals are formulated goal is a predetermined objective for achieving the goal one easily formulates a working method and a suitable program goals are always based on values new theory and new techniques are searched to achieve goals more successfully goals are related to both standards and values all three are most interrelated one goal is a future plan it requires looking toward the future visualizing either what one specifically wants to accomplish for example we need a individual house so immediately we can visualize that we are living in that independent house at least the direction in which one wishes to go families can determine their objectives indeed families are responsible for creating objectives desired by them and uniquely their own there are some goal areas although each family will develop its own pattern of goals it is instructive to review goal areas which have been identified by writers or researchers in one regional research project in which family goals were related to major financial decisions there are nine goals areas financial security and growth level of living housing and environment education family relationship and management health community involvement income and occupation and retirement goals relate to family interaction tend to be more abstract certain characteristics of goals are as follows goals are helpful in the development of personality well planned goals will satisfy an individual's interest attitudes desires and make the life successful formation of goals is an automatic process if a member of the family tries to fulfill his desires 
goals are automatically formulated. Achieving goal is a continuous process. As soon as one goal is achieved, another goal comes ahead. Goals are changeable. This is a natural process. Goals are based on time. Some goals are achieved in short time and all these short term goals unite to form a long term goal like getting education, maintaining health etc. Goals are individualistic and for a group. Family goals are combined effort of family members. Every family member will have this individual goal. Example, family health, education or group goals. Goals should be practical and factual that can be achieved in reasonable time. For example, project completion. For achieving project, one should have collect details related to that project and finance also we have to take care. Based on the availability of resources, one should formulate the goals otherwise they will be unsuitable. Human resource and non-human resource are important for determining a goal. Goals are affected by the society. For example, tradition and belief of a society affect the goal setting of a family. Now let us see the types of goals. Long term goal, one type. Short term goal, second one. Third one is means end goal. Let us see first about long term goals. Goals which take long duration of time to be fulfilled are known as long term goals. Long term goals are more stable and they are achieved slowly. The long term goals are considered fairly permanent. These are the goals that have real meaning to the family group. Example, educating the children, buying a new car or taking family vacations each year that flow along with other goals and require constant attention. The method to achieve long term goal is different. Family health, higher education, intellectual development of the member of the family. Work schedule should be planned to achieve all goals. Goals should fulfill the needs and wants of the family members. In order to fulfill the needs and wants, home should provide a space for feeling of love, affection, patience and sacrifice among all the family members. Now let us speak about short term goals. It is also known as intermediate goals. Families often set intermediate goals for themselves as means of achieving long term goals. These are more definite than long term goals and it is easier to form a clear cut picture of them. They frequently involve decisions or choices made from among several alternatives among themselves because it seems that they have will prove the best means of achieving certain long term goals. Example for this, women wish to keep her house look attractive, children doing homework regularly. Short term goals are necessary for daily routine, they are plenty in number. All the short term goals are not equally important but some of the short term goals are achieved to supplement the long term goal. For example, long term goal for higher education can be achieved when short term goals of completing school education, then going to college to achieve a degree and so on. This is important that short term goals should be incorporated in daily routine so that long term goal can be achieved successfully. Third type is means end goal. These type of goals are limited to the available resources or when the effectiveness of a decision ends. Mean and goals are completed as soon as the resources are finished. They are not short term or long term. For example, purchasing of some articles in a limited budget or payment of some electricity bill or water tax bill like that. They are the decision made or the steps taken to attain intermediate goals. They end in themselves and that are reached with a small number of activities. For example, writing a check to pay a bill or maintaining the flowers as indoor plants in living rooms, buying a postcard or writing a letter to others, emailing others. By combining the means, the end activities like sweeping, dusting, cleaning the floor, arranging the furniture, the intermediate goal that is keeping home look attractive is attained. Now let us see what are the benefits obtained from goal. We should have a clear focus. Properly stated goals clearly set out self intentions and desires, the things you really want to achieve. Effective use of time. 
it is universal but when utilized properly it reaches peak as peter drucker says if you want to improve to manage time stop doing what doesn't need to be done peace of mind too often you can have many things on your mind writing down your goals help you take all of those ideas apply perspective and prioritize then galvanize you into commitment and action make better use of time without clear goals it's often very difficult to manage your time and juggle competing priorities when goals are written start to prioritize work towards goals above other activities such as watching television next one important one is enjoyment goals are the antidote to the most dreaded of social diseases boredom how can you be bored when you have got exciting things to do goals make our lives more fun more interesting and more challenging fulfillment setting goals help us see what's possible each successful step toward attaining them builds confidence each goal completed helps us see more of what's possible and leads to new goals and more success independence is an important thing goals help us to take charge of our own lives instead of the following the crowd or wandering through life we choose our own path the one that leads to fulfillment of our ambitions why goals has to be changed the major goals that are created and sought by each family naturally grow out of its own environment and experience although the goals of families differ in some respects the major and ultimate goals of homemaking may be stated as optimum physical and mental health for each members of the family optimum development of the individual members of the family satisfying family relations recognition acceptance and appreciation of human differences establishing satisfactory relationship with the community and other subsystem of the society the goals of an individual person or family are probably much influenced by the social group with one interacts this is true in terms of students when they are compared with their reference group or homemakers with their social group in each situation their goals would be molded by the peer influences now let us see what is the role of goals setting life goals help us keep focused and give our days purpose by concentrating solely on the achievement of our goals we find ourselves feeling disappointed or unfilled upon completion conversely not focusing enough on our goals might when we get sidetracked or distracted never finding our purpose and suffering in this despair of our failure we must begin by understanding that goals which are the means and not the end after all if we are able to properly set goals that are aligned with our internal value then we are more likely to not only achieve our goals but enjoy the process of achieving them as well and through that ultimate journey and evolution of our goal is where our true happiness lies role of goal setting in an individual individual plays major role in setting the goal they have to sit alone and think what is the main purpose of their life there are five golden rules first one set goals that motivate motivation is an important factor it means there is value in achieving them and get smart goals set goals in writing make an action plan stick with it now let us discuss about set goals first we have to decide think of something you want to do or work towards of what picture so this goal has to satisfy the individual as well as the family as well as the society so we have to write down carefully what and all goals to be taken down main consideration telling someone we know about our goals also seems to increase the likelihood that we will stick at them break your goal down into long term short term or intermediate term plan your first step then keep going then at last celebrate it 
So, while writing a goal, first consider what to achieve and then commit to it. As explained earlier by other authors, SMART. SMART is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. Goals that motivate you and write them down to make them feel tangible. Values must be consistent with goals. For example, travel makes lot of money and work flexible has but if you value your life and everyone's right to it, you are not likely to succeed. Role of goals in family. A goal is more specific and tangible and hence can be easily defined and understood. Goal is an objective or purpose to be attained and towards the achievement of which the policies and procedures of a program are fashioned. There are specific ways of realizing the value one holds. Goals are interrelated, interdependent and carried as part of every homemaker's day. They play an important role in everyone's life and are dynamic because they motivate the thoughts and action as group in family. Members of the family have total freedom to set their goals. Goals must be set to improvise the quality of life. Now let us see the organizational setup, how they will fix the goal. According to Barney and Griffin, organizational goals serve four basic functions. First one, they provide guidance and direction. Facilitate planning is the second one. Motivate and inspire employees is the third one. And help organizations evaluate and control performance. Let us see one by one. Organizational goals inform employees where the organization is aiming and plans to get there. When employees need to make difficult decisions, they can refer to the organization's goal for guidance. Goals promote planning to determine how goals will be achieved. Employees often set goals in order to satisfy a need. Thus, goals can be motivational and increase performance. Evaluation and control allows an organization to compare its actual performance to its goals and then make any necessary adjustments. For organizations, managers and employees to be successful, more emphasis need to be placed on making sure every employee and every manager knows what he or she needs to accomplish in the present as well as in the future. When employees understand needs to be done to succeed, it's much easier for them to contribute. Clear purpose helps everyone succeed and bottom line in an organization. Organizations need to coordinate the work of individual employees and work units, ensuring that everyone is pulling in the same direction. When an employee knows what needs to accomplish, and what is expected, it's a lot easier for that employee to work without constant supervision. Also, by helping employees understand how their individual work contributes to the overall goals of the organization, we enable them to make their own decisions about how to spend their work time so that their work is consistent with the priorities of the organization. The consequences are employees know what they must do, how well they must do it and why they are doing it, resulting in a team that is knowledgeable and therefore empowered to do the right things with much less supervision or oversight. The teams can make decisions relevant to their work without having to consult the manager on every little question. Clear goals and objectives allow employees to monitor their own progress all year and correct their efforts as necessary. If employees know what they need to accomplish, they can look at their results as they go and identify barriers. Barriers is nothing but what is getting struck to achieve these goals. Setting and achieving goals is one of the ways an employee can gauge his development within a company. Goal setting can be a good motivator, but there are advantages and disadvantages 
in goal setting. Without proper planning, setting goals can be as destructive as it can be motivating. After go through in goal as demands, we saw a lot of topics under this. So here, importantly, we have to consider long term, short term and mean and goal. One after the other, each one has to complete, has to be completed because once this mean and goal finished, short term will be accomplished. Once that short term is accomplished, long term will be targeted. So target each goal one by one. Don't cluster all the goals together and make into fuss. So this, prop, this in proper way, if you are going, all the demands will be solved in your life. So always target the goal which has to be given more importance. Now, I am going to conclude with simple thing. For example, if we are going to do one work, if we are going to target one uh, goal in, my, in our life, from the school education, we shift to the college education. After college education, we shift to the career importance. In that career also, so many hierarchies there. From the basic, as a new person, we will enter into the career. Then next to that hierarchy position, according to the company's hierarchy, we will go on. So step by step, if you are going topmost position, we will lead. So this, what happens is without pressure and stress, we should lead this goal. So always remember, goal can be achieved, but in that goal also, certain goals cannot be achieved. For example, social welfare and social improvement programs, always a continuous task where it cannot be ended. So this type of goals let us have in our day to day life as a mean and goal. And this long term goal wherever we are going to achieve target and achieve it.